The U.S. Senate is inching closer to reaching a deal on border security, but it is sure to face hurdles in the House, where Republicans have been stubborn about their wish list. In light of these negotiations, a bipartisan group of Texans in Congress is headed to Mexico City to meet with leaders after a weekend touring the valley. Monica Madden was there and has more from the valley. I mean, we care about what goes on. The, the reason we're so uh, adamant that it needs to stop is the, the amount of suffering that we see. Chris Cabrera has been a Border Patrol agent for 22 years. He says his job has never been more challenging than it is today. It's changed dramatically. And it's felt by many on the job. We're losing agents faster than, than we can replace them. Over the course of two days, Cabrera gave us a tour along the border showing us holes in fences where they'll find human smugglers. We're not picking up much. And at night, we staked out the wall. And you can see the wall behind me. We're getting a tour from Border Patrol agents where they tell us that most nights they are outnumbered by the amount of migrants, sometimes hundreds at a time, trying to climb the wall. We spotted a group of 22 migrants, including unaccompanied children and a baby. It's very dangerous to, to, to come across that river, much less to be a, a small child. They turned themselves in to federal authorities. And they'll start their processing. All of them are claiming asylum as of now. And loaded a bus. People know that if they come in, they say a, a few magic keywords that we're going to release them into the country with a court date five years away, and nobody's really going to look for them if they don't show up. Cabrera doesn't blame groups like we saw, but the policies. It's easier to get into this country illegally than it is to get in here legally. So, of course, they're going to take advantage of that. We are witnessing a human tragedy. That was part of why we went on this trip, to tag along with a bipartisan group of Texas congressional members. They're hoping to bring back solutions to a gridlocked Washington. The Senate bill, if it's done bipartisan, will have a chance. Tackling immigration policy historically has been a Herculean task, especially with a Congress that has been marred by chaos. All agree. But Congressman Michael McCall says the state of negotiations are different now, with foreign aid on the line. It's a national security supplemental, so I think we've got the leverage and possibly the best opportunity to get something serious done. Moderate Democrats like Congressman Henry Cuellar can agree with some Republican-led proposals to toughen the process for claiming asylum. This bipartisan type of work will get the job done. But it's not likely that the Senate will take the House border deal as is, which many Republicans are demanding. We need the Senate to pick up our plan or come up with a solution so we can have a path forward. Agents like Cabrera just want lawmakers to see it the way he does. It's not a Republican or Democrat issue, it's a, it's a humanitarian issue. In the Rio Grande Valley, Monica Madden, KXAN News.